you are on quarter or less. Well, I've had a look down the uh, results of late, and in the periods I looked at, I only saw two results where the person who was fastest in qualifying came through to win, uh, and that happens occasionally in the women's. Very seldom in the men does the fastest qualifier win the day, because those who win are so, so experienced. And uh, two Swiss in here, just shows you how the Swiss have found talent. Jaeger, uh, you saw first, this is Kinshi, you saw. He wears, uh, sorry, Kinshi wears 24, and Wenzel for Germany, uh, he wears number seven, four here. This is Eric Bransdahl, who was the fastest qualifier of this particular group. 17, representing Canada, Len Valias, uh, who's been improving on the scene. And 27 in picture, Marty Yelai, who's the slowest on paper, at least, of all the qualifiers here. That first heat, by the way, is a guide for you, 240.5. And what will be interesting, I think, Patrick, we take the split times as they come around at the end of the first lap. Absolutely, let's do that. But uh, we also have to bear in mind, lucky loser at the moment needs to be under 240.9. Uh, that would uh, put them in the position to go through ahead of Johan Eden of Sweden, who was third in the last heat so on the outside there that's uh, the Swiss now which Swiss you're asking me it's actually uh, Jaeger wearing bib number 14 and he's up there with the Norwegian the Norwegian in this oh am I right yeah the Norwegian is Eric Bransdahl, looking very, very smooth. Yeah, Bransdahl's been knocking on the door of uh, podium finishes for a while. Now he lies 10th in the sprint standings, so he'll be uh, he'll be looking to improve. In fact, he'll be looking to capitalise on the fact that some of the big names are absent today. There he yeah. is, wearing four. Yeah, but it's only the men you can beat who've turned up here. And I'm really impressed by this stadium that we're in. It has a, a lot of tradition to it. It's called the Sforza Castle. It's a traditional home of actually Italian athletics inside the castle. It's a big monument to athletics and the sporting arena here in Milan. Now, as they come round again now. Oh, now what happened there? Now that was that was on his own. Absolutely nobody else got in his way. That's uh, Kinshi who's uh, dropped out of it, I'm afraid. And into the lead there goes Germany's Joseph Wenzel. Second quickest of these in qualification, Joseph. Well, about 600 metres to go. They went through the halfway marker in 129.5. We'll have to uh, bear that in mind with the next few heats. Bransdahl, who's looked very, very smooth all the way through. In fact, he won in Otterper last year. He's, he's just dropped off the pace. I was thinking he was looking very smooth, but uh, I think we might see a burst from him round the last corner. So, Wenzel, 27 years of age from uh, Zwiesel, is the man who leads has uh, been on the podium once in his career that was back in the vancouver sprint in 2009 and it's the canadian who's taking him on now on the right of your picture there len valias member of the team hardwood group 23 years of age fifth in the classic sprint in kusamo his best ever result and that was what, way back in november <laughs> Well, Valias is a, a huge man. He's looking for space. Fenzel, and it's going to be Bransdahl who comes through. I think the race of the day there was Bransdahl. He just stayed calm. He didn't panic when everyone was jostling for position, and he secured an automatic route through to the semi-final. He doesn't have to wait and see what the uh, ha how fast the lucky losers are. And uh, we're still waiting for confirmation of the winning time. Yeah, just a bit disappointing with... Uh... Valias actually because he didn't see it through well he was he was in a good position but he's about a foot taller than everyone else out there so when it comes to winding up the tempo uh, it gets very very difficult Martin Jaeger getting a taste of the snow in fact it was uh, Yuri Kinchi who went down my apologies to Jaeger the other Swiss skier who survived okay 241.2 so that heat just a little bit slower and that means that Valias who was third is very unlikely to go through